Hello, you are welcome to Express Updates. My name is Yaira Auno. Stay tuned. And in our first story, President of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Ikufuadu, says the collaborative efforts between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire in safeguarding the interest of cocoa farmers in both countries is essential. Speaking at the inauguration of the Cote d'Ivoire Ghana Cocoa Initiative headquarters in Accra, President Ikufuadu underscored the importance of both countries in devising new strategies to address the evolving market dynamics and stressed on the need to prioritize the needs of farmers. The collaborative initiative launched in 2017 seeks to boost sustainability and efficiency across the cocoa industry. We set off on this journey in 2017, the year I came into office, when the great president of Cote d'Ivoire, His Excellency Alassane Ouattara and I, signed an agreement for strategic partnership, having regard to the obvious strategic interconnectedness of our two nations. Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent regulations governing cocoa supply, especially to the European Union, collaborative efforts between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire are essential to establish unified positions that safeguard the interests of our farmers. It is imperative for this collaboration to address proactively these challenges, reinforcing the need for cohesive action. We anticipate that this collective initiative will pioneer the way forward for the cocoa industry. Together, let us embark on this journey with renewed determination and optimism, confident in our ability to build a brighter future for our cocoa communities and our nations as a whole. A Swiss renewable energy firm, NEC, has built a new renewable energy platform to supply Ghanaians with affordable electricity. Anansi Green Energy Limited, a renewable energy platform, intends to meet Ghana's increasing electricity demands. Anansi Green Energy will play a significant role in the delivery of much-needed green energy to Ghana in the near future. The National Identification Authority has announced a new increment in Ghana card fees, effective Wednesday, May 1, 2024. According to the authority, the new adjustments to first-time registration, card replacement service, and personal identification update service aligns with the provisions of the Fees and Charges Miscellaneous Provision Regulations 2023. Citizens are advised to take note of the impending charges. And in our final story, the National Petroleum Authority has called on consumers of liquefied petroleum gas in Boligatanga to embrace a new policy known as a cylinder recirculation model. The Upper East Regional Manager of the NPA, Bashiru Natogma, made this call at a sensitization program on the CRM policy. He explained that cylinder recirculation model is a distribution system where a consumer brings an empty cylinder to an exchange point in return for a filled cylinder. Mr. Natogma therefore urged natives to fully participate in the exercise to support in mitigating the risk involved in LPG operations and increasing accessibility of the product to customers nationwide. And that's all we have for you here on Express Updates. My name is Yaira Awuno. Do enjoy the rest of our programs.